hello guys this is becca and i am here with miss darla which is ashton drake's little livy she is a partial silicone and her so sweet i love her little blonde curls her so sweet I like her bangs to be down. They're not quite long enough. We're going to pull them down as far as they'll go. They're so curly. They don't come down far enough. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We got it. All right. I thought I would change her on video. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on her. I have this little uh, warm, cozy, fuzzy furry outfit has is a mint green it has the little shirt or jacket however you want to call it and the little pants it buttons down the front it has two white kitty cats on each side of the shirt has pink the cats are white they have pink cheeks and pink ears and a little pink bow up there at the ears and it's outlined in thread where it's uh, sewn on there and a silver looking thread it is uh, swiggles brand zero to three months now miss Darla normally wears a newborn but I so much wanted to put this little outfit on one of my babies so we're gonna try it we are going to try it and see if we can get it to work even if it's a tad big maybe we can still get it to work for her I'm trying to find that little plastic thing I just pulled off but I guess it flew somewhere I don't see it Okay, and I'm going to put these little socks on her. They're not the exact same green, but they're going to have to do. They're white socks with a pink heel and a pink toe. Green polka dots. That's green instead of mint. And then um, ribbon <coughs> ruffles around the top of the sock. I thought that would bring out the pink and the kitty cat having that and then we're going to add this little pink headband and I may have to get a safety pin and tighten that up to fit her head I don't know we will see so we're gonna get her change mama's sweet baby Mama's sweet baby, we're going to get her changed. Yeah, her little blonde hair and blue eyes is so pretty. Her little blonde hair and blue eyes is so pretty. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, Mama, don't want to hurt you, baby girl. Now get your hand out of there. There we go. Now then. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We did. We met in a town that's an hour away from us with our uh, youngest son that we don't get to see very often. Uh, you would think he lived an ocean away instead of just two hours, but... He just lives about two hours away from us. He lives on the coast, and we live more inland and uh, about two hours apart. But we still hardly ever see each other. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's been over a year since we have saw the kids. Um, with the pandemic and everything going on, uh, I am my mother's caregiver, and so... When my husband goes to the coast, most of the time I don't go. Not only do I stay home because of her, 
uh, but I have health issues also and riding that far uh, even though it's only two hours but riding there being there you know at someone else's house not being able to relax and like I really need to do what I need to do and then riding back then it takes me about three days to get over it um, it just kind of puts me out of commission for about three two or three days and so I just I go very little I, I stay home most of the time <laughs> my hubby does most of the shopping for us um, what I, the shopping that I can't do online I do mo everything I possibly can do I do it online uh, we have a Walmart pickup but I don't do that because it's 30 minutes away um, my husband said he didn't care for it. He'd rather go in and buy the groceries than sit there and wait. I don't know. I don't understand his thinking. but So I don't do Walmart pickup because of that. Um, so when we get groceries and things, I go every now and then if I'm having a really good day. Um, but most of the time, hubby runs and goes and picks up what we need at the grocery store here in town. And so, uh, I just don't get out much. And so, my son and them, they don't come here much. And when the pandemic started, um, my daughter-in-law and, and grandchildren, I, they have a boy and a girl. They just, they didn't come. Um, my, my son came a couple of times and visited with us for a few hours and went back home. Um, but my daughter-in-law and grandchildren didn't come. And, uh, so it had been a little over a year since we had seen the kids and our daughter-in-law. Um, so we met at Cracker Barrel. Did I say that? I can't remember. We met at Cracker Barrel and had Thanksgiving, uh, lunch. It was the midday meal and we really enjoyed visiting with our children and grandchildren and um, we just had a good little time visiting together and then to our surprise they um, see the town we went to is about halfway between us um, it's about an hour from us and they're they're probably two and a half hours from us so that town is about an hour and a half from them. So they drove, you know, the further distance. But um, that was the biggest, you know, city. Well, not necessarily did we go because it was the biggest. But that's about the best one. As close to in the middle as uh, we could get to meet halfway. And uh, But then to our surprise, after we got through with our little visit and our lunch and everything they decided to come on to the house and uh, stay spend the rest of the afternoon with us and so we had a uh i say <laughs> i had a good little visit with my granddaughter um my husband and son and grandson they all went hunting and uh, my daughter-in-law she just sat here in the living room on her phone and um, so I visited with my granddaughter. We talked and, uh, looked at my dolls and did things and, and, um, uh, I really enjoyed it being with them. Oops, Mama's jewelry, baby girl. So, that was fun. That was very enjoyable and I'm thankful I got to be with them, be with my granddaughter for a little while. Um. I've seen my grandson as they was in passing and doing what they were doing. <laughs> Didn't really get to talk to him much. Uh, then we had a little supper, some hamburgers and that we my husband grilled up and everything. And they ate supper and then they decided it was time they needed to get on home. So, But we really enjoyed Thanksgiving and I hope y'all had a, a good Thanksgiving. And... So, anyway, uh, anyway.
anyway, I wanted to share my little Darla with you. And like I said, this little outfit's a little bit big for her. It will fit some of my other babies better. But I wanted to put it on one of my babies so bad. And she's the baby of the day. Darla is my baby of the day. So... <laughs> It kind of looks funny. Maybe if I just kind of pull it up like that. Kind of not just pull it so far down. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> Mama's eat a baby. Let's see if I'm going to need to. Oh, no. That fits good. Mama don't have to tighten that one up for you. Your head is the right size. Or that bow, that headband's the right size for your head. I ever want to show it. Yeah, let's get some of them curls sticking out here. Mama likes them curls showing. Yeah, Mama likes them curls showing. There we go. There we go. Let's get some over here. There we go. Mama likes them curls showing. Yes, sir, do. Look at Mama's beautiful baby. Are y'all seeing her good? I had to move her around to get her clothes on. There her is. Here's your mama, your beautiful baby. Guys, I highly recommend if you want a, a, a silicone doll and you don't have the money to buy one of the high-end silicone dolls, I highly, highly recommend Ashton Drake's Partial Silicone Dolls because they are awesome guys they are awesome now this one's head doesn't turn like her neck some of them do um but she's just she's awesome look at that see how you can squeeze her she's just squeezy she feels like when you touch her fingers it just feels like a real baby when you get her little floppy legs and you, that just, it feels so much like a real baby. I just, I love them. I love them. Yes, I do. Matter of fact, Mama wants all of the Ashton Drake silicone dolls. Guys, I'm going to give you a little history on me. Uh, I can't say that I've been a doll lover all my life. Um. You know, I, I've heard some people talk about their doll collection and how they have loved dolls all their life. And they still had dolls from their childhood and stuff like that. I can't say that. I do not have any dolls left over from my childhood. Now, as a child, I did love dolls. Uh, Mama bought me, you know, dolls. I had all kind of different kinds of dolls and things, you know, um doll furniture, you know, clothes and things for the dolls, and I had Barbie dolls, and I had paper dolls, and, um, you know, as a child, I did. I loved dolls, but after I turned 12, you know, somewhere around 11, 12, 13, somewhere around that age, I quit wanting dolls, you know. I thought I was grown, too old to play with dolls, and so, you know, the dolls got either thrown away or given away or put in donations or whatever mom did with our stuff back then. I, I don't remember. I was a kid and didn't really pay attention. So I don't know, really know what she did with our leftovers, you know, our hand-me-downs and things we outgrew. So I don't know what happened to them. But, uh, you know, I never even thought of a doll after I turned about 11, 12, 13. And, you know, to play with dolls... You know, it never even crossed my mind or to collect dolls and just let them sit on my bed. It never even crossed my mind. Um, I just, you know, once I got a certain age, I was thought I was too big for dolls. Even after uh, being married and my kids grown and married and having grandkids and all, back in 2012, I started paper crafting. I started scrapbooking. That's when I first got on YouTube, actually learned about YouTube through my sister. 
uh, my baby sister. And back in that time, she had introduced me to the Reborn dolls. She didn't own any. What she done was she had come across some videos of re people with Reborn dolls and how, you know, they treated them like their babies and stuff like that. And so she had given me a link to a lady's video and um, asked me to watch it, asked me what I thought about it. Well, I watched it, and it was the lady with a reborn baby, and she had her little nursery all fixed up, and she, you know, that was her baby, and she uh, would play like she fed them and, and things like that. And I actually told my sister that was totally ridiculous. That was weird and crazy for a grown woman to act like a doll was her baby. That that was just ridiculous. That I didn't like it. Well, several years, probably five, six, seven years passed. And two years ago, for some reason, I don't know why or how it really, I can't remember how it really happened. But... Okay, I do remember how it happened. I was thinking I saw a video, but no. How it happened that I actually got started collecting dolls and why I said I don't remember. It's, I don't, I don't know why I said I didn't remember. <laughs> but my mother got me started in the Reborn or the Ashton Drakes. Um. She gets a lot of junk mail in the mail, you know, and so she gets, uh, they'll send her an envelope or either in, a, no, I think it was in one of her angel magazines because she gets guideposts and angel and all that that she likes to read. And I think it was in one of those, uh, either guidepost or angel magazines, she saw an ad for an Ashton Drake doll and, uh, an elderly woman was holding it and it was talking about it being uh, good for demen dementia and stuff and people with Alzheimer's and and for some reason that photo at that particular point in time just struck my mother and she wanted one of those it's called the Kayla doll from Ashton Drake and she wanted that doll and she was kind of afraid to get it because it was a doll and it was over a hundred dollars and and um she talked back and forth between me and my older sister and finally uh we you know talked her in if, to go ahead and get it if she wanted it that she needed to get it well she did so i decided i was going to get me a doll once she got her doll so i ordered me an ashton drake which was blessed or the pure of heart that I just recently sold. <laughs> and I, I'm bad about doing things presumptuously, doing it just on the spur of the moment on a thought and then later regretting it. <laughs> but I did, I sold her just probably a month or so ago, but I ordered her. And then from there, it, it just did me and I just, I fell in love with dolls. Really, just about all kind of dolls. Mainly the most realistic looking you can get, but I fell in love with Ashton Drake. I fell in love with Reborn. Uh, back then, I was new to dolls and new to, uh, you know, artists and people scamming them and uh, stealing their sculpts and things like that and so after I had ordered the Ashton Drake I ordered an NPK doll which is one that I keep in my curio cabinet that I will never get rid of because uh, I, the reason I actually picked that doll is because she has a little smirky smile that reminded me of my great niece uh, when she was like two and three years old and um, she don't look so much like her now but she did when she when um Gracie was little, and I even named the doll uh, Macy to go along with Gracie. And that doll I will never get rid of. So, I uh, 
from there, I don't know. I just kind of fell in love with dolls. Um, later, uh, I think it's only been about a little over a year, I came across the Paradise Gallery dolls. I fell in love with them. Um, I did just kind of go kind of overboard with them because they have such great, great sales that it is hard to resist them. Um, you know, during different holidays or different times of the year, they would just have awesome sales on their dolls. Uh, not on all of them. They pick up, you know, specific dolls that they put on sale each time, and it's different dolls each time. And so I bought and bought, and I just fell in love with dolls. Um, I, I don't know. I know people think I'm crazy. I want to be able to take a doll with me when I go somewhere. Uh, I haven't got up the nerve. I do. I have taken a doll to church occasionally, uh, but I use the excuse because there's a lady there that loves to see my dolls. She loves them. And so I will use the excuse every now and then to take a doll and show her. But, like, I see some people taking their dolls out, like, to the store and things like that, and doctor's offices and stuff when they go. I haven't got up the nerve to do that. I wished I could. Because I love having a baby with me. Um, and guys, I don't know where I was going telling you all this. I'd have to go back and look, listen to what I said at the beginning of this little talk. But um, anyway, I lost my train of thought. Telling you, I go around, beat around the bush. You know, I go all the way around the world trying to get to a point. By the time I think I'm getting around to the point, I've forgotten the point. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, the reason I was telling you this. Oh, I, I, I know I said I was going to tell you some history. I remember that, some history about me. So, anyway, uh, since I started with my Ashton Drake, since that first Ashton Drake doll that I bought, I have just went crazy over dolls. I just, I've went crazy. I love them. People think I'm crazy, I know, but I can't help it. Um, I don't know. They're calming to me. They're a comfort to me. Um, I love snuggling with them. I did for a while do role play, like I would play like I was feeding them and burping them and all of that. I even bought the little app. Um, if you know anything about the app, the uh, Babysit Me app where... It will ever so often uh, the baby will start crying and then it'll pop up on the screen what's wrong with the baby, like it's hungry or it needs a diaper change or whatever, you know. And for a while I was doing that, but I want my dolls to be a comfort. I don't want them to be demanding. <laughs> and I felt like that was too demanding. I would have to stop, you know, if I played along with it, I would have to stop what I was doing and sit down and... You know, and it has a feeding time. You you feed it until it goes back off, saying that it's full, and and it it that just didn't work for me. I enjoyed it while I did it, but it was just too much of a demand on me. And I I want my babies to be an enjoyment to me. So basically, all I do with my babies now is I change their clothes for um, the videos that I do, and um, I usually change whichever. The next baby's going to be for the next day at, at night. The night before, I'll change it into a sleeper. You know, I enjoy changing its clothes. So, I will change their clothes, and I snuggle with them. Uh, I've got a diaper on it, but this diaper will stay on it until I see that it's, you know, starting to wear from pulling clothes on and off of it. Which, this one has on a onesie, so that diaper is not going to really wear out. Um... So, I don't have to buy diapers, you know, because I just keep, I've got a newborn pack in, that I've, you know, had and I've been using out of. And I may end up, I've got some little, some older dolls. I may have to, you know, pick up a small pack for other sizes if I see that, you know, I need them. But right now, the diapers I have on all my babies, um, they're not going to wear out because, you know, not really not for a long, long time, not unless I just decide I want to change it, just for the fun of it, 
every now and then, but, um, you know, cause like I said, I don't, I don't really role play with my dolls. My dolls is for a comfort. They're for a calming to me. Um, I don't really role play with them. I just simply change their clothes for the videos that I do. That don't mean I don't snuggle because I do. I get them and I snuggle with them. Oh, I forgot to take the tag off of that. <laughs> but I snuggle with my babies because that's just calming and that's... I kiss my babies. I know they're just dolls. But that's just it. I don't know if it's a mother instinct or what. But it's just calming to me. And... Um, so, I forgot I had this tag on here. I took the one off of the pants. Let's see if I can find the little plastic thing and get it off there. There we go. All right, guys, this video's been long enough, and I just wanted to share with you little Darla and her new little outfit that I was so anxious to get on one of my dolls. I don't have particular clothes for particular dolls. Like I say, this outfit's for so-and-so. I just, whatever size, those dolls that wear that size wears all the clothes that's that size um so i don't have like this outfits for darla and this outfits for you know another one or whatever so i just have my clothes separated in sizes and whatever size doll i have i find an outfit in that size clothes and put on them all right guys well i'm gonna go and i will uh Get off of here and get my day finished going. Well, look at there. Miss Bug's laying on my bag down under there. She, I guess she thinks it's a blanket. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will talk with you all later. Bye.